am to here and then I'll go back over so I'm just going to put my hazards on stick it in reverse, got to watch out for the uh, people seems like the burger hut there so he's a little down by the bed side on the on the uh, passenger side. <laughs> on the passenger side there. Um, thank you. Is um, shout out to that chap there. Good man there. Retired now. Um, but there's a little little box next to the fence there which sticks out. So you've got to watch yourself on this fence as well. Yeah, we're doing all these. Let's have a lock off, mate. There's a bit of a post coming there. I'll we'll just stick this down the side. See, there's a box on. See that box down there just by my front wheel there? And you've got to be careful you don't put any too much lock on because you'll bite the front of your truck off. Morning. We'll do this, we'll do this as we go. Slow that trailer a bit. So don't bounce us. Beautiful job. Sometimes they can spit you out. So. Should we call a nice little tight entrance. It's on a bit of an angle, so you've got to watch out on the blind side. There's a pillar inside a pillar which is quite chunky so when we come back in we've got to be careful they made it quite narrow now hello sir how are you doing Narrow there, you see. Now I can come down inside of it. Let's just put this here for the minute. So I right hear it's like um, very few cars. That's the first car I've ever seen along here, in truth. Peepers. Oh, can we see the car coming there? Gonna let him go. There's a push brake coming there as well, but he'll take his time. There's some more. Couldn't write the script. What's breaking? Good man! Thank you sir, thank you, thank you, thank you. What's breaking? Beautiful. Right. Let's get this in here. Come through on a slight angle. You 
because of the inside post just gives me like three inches more either side so straight up now mate that's nice enough beautiful job it's quite tight as you can see there's an inside wall here so just gonna keep an eye on that so I'm just gonna skirt with the, the, the other side has the same amount of gap as this side here because there's a pillar inside a pillar and I've got to get a bit of angle on now so I've got tighter to this pillar here because I've got to get angle to get past the crane so I'm going to virtually touch this fence here you see that there now? so I'm going to virtually play with touching that with the headboard go on baby a bit tighter there. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. So we get some more so get some more lock on there, more lock. Let's get the end. See inside wall. Gets me struck. A bit more lock on. I'll take the lock off now. This is that wall. Beautiful. <laughs> Get some lock on. You can see that wall on me down middle there. So, alright. Get some tape to lock up with. Straighten up. Let's have a look. Beautiful job. Beautiful. The crane drive on that one. Be somewhere about there. Good, that one just dropped the trailer, just like the air coming out of the truck. Go on, baby, nice and gentle. Yes, lift axle, get through this little gap again. Nice job. Get down the side, Mena. Nothing coming, gotta be careful because some people just go like crazy, don't they? I've never known Peel to be so busy. It surprises me that. I mean, people walking and cycling and all that, all getting healthy. Is that like a hint? <laughs> Is that a hint, Mike? Get off your ass and start doing a bit. Well, I think I do enough graft during the day, to be fair. Let's watch out for cars, people, cars, people, push bikes, ladies of prams, you name it. It's quite quiet, it's quiet today to be honest, Monday morning. I just need to go over that way a little bit though for my tail swing. Beautiful. we about a four foot, five foot tail swing so I'm going to put myself about five foot away from the wall. That way you're never going to hit nothing there. Right. That's two down, two to go. <laughs> That's the top. Fish yards. Do you think? I think I would, you know. Let's go over the peel. Oh, it's closed. Oh, it's closed. Good job I didn't go down there. Eh? Oh, the head closed. I was going to take it on the promenade just for a look at peel, which is beautiful. Get yourself over here on holiday. Peel. Beautiful, beautiful sandy beach. Right, we're lucky here now because nothing's coming the opposite way so far. 
But just when you hit and get another truck going the opposite way, then you have problems because it's quite tight. So we're going this way. There's a fire station. So we've got four, that's the second one. So we'll um I think the way rains when they come up. So we've got half way off it, haven't we? Um there's the old pampas grass. It's beautiful lad, isn't it? One of my favourite is pampas grass. side here this is Timbald this is the Isle of Man um, Timbald day on the left that's where the government sits once a year with all their pampas you know, all their bloody wigs and all that crap they wear it's okay it's alright for some people to me it's just a waste of time waste of money you know but it's, it's like pantomime isn't it and I'm not a villain, so it's, it's, it is very beautiful for the people who go and watch it. A lot of tourists come to see it, and it's very nice and all that. It's set in beautiful grounds, but you know, it is what it is. Um, <laughs> that is what it is. Anyway, with that, we're going to cut you off here. Let's get on with the next job. The vlog, oh my god, it's windy out there today. Right, we come and picked up this um, machine. I'm going to just take it back to the boat. It sits quite high. They assume it's 4.7 or something like 4.7, give or take, but it looks a bit taller than us. You've got to watch a few trees on the way back. Um, so, uh, because it looks quite tall, doesn't it? And it's a machine which actually cuts this granite in front of us here, sheets of granite. And I think this machine actually cuts lengths of granite to suit for posh kitchens and all that type of thing. And um, it's just getting shipped out, outbound. So whatever, I have no idea. So we've got about six miles to go, seven miles, give or take. And um, just gotta watch out for a few trees on the route. Um, so I'm gonna have to slow down a little bit just to make sure on one or two of them. Uh, they've got a few bits of road works going on here as well. So, hey, <laughs> it's all go. This is the second trailer I've done today. From here, the one was a bit of a wide load. I'll just put that up here now for seven seconds or so. Yeah, so we, we shipped that one out about a couple of hours ago. And then, uh, so this is next, this is the second trail of the two. Uh, that was quite straightforward. I done that one first because of the height. I just want to make sure the height was okay on some of the trees. Anyway, hope you're all okay. Don't forget to like, dislike, share the vlog for me if you don't mind. Just share it to people so people can see it. it's beautiful this island. Get yourself over here on holiday. Have a look, see what you think of it. You'll get like a five day break. Hire a car, bring a car. The bus is over here. We have all Mercedes Benz buses and that. So, come on, let's get on with this. Shout out to the lads there. She likes that that tree there. There's nothing. nothing. There's one or two on route. You'll see me just take notice, like you know. We're eight 
40 degrees. It's tempest one in the afternoon. And um, it's cold, isn't it? We've got a couple of hours to go for the goal. And then um, been on the goal since about six this morning. Fired the truck up at six, say, eh? five to six. No height restrictions into Douglas. There's no uh, cables across the road, or if they are, they're up six meters plus. Um, so they're not. There's no issues on that. We've got a few bridges. If we go the main route into Douglas, I've got under a few bridges. One at the uh, Swing Bridge, which is 4.85, and one at the bottom of the hill, which is 4.85. They've probably been a little bit taller than that. So uh, because of this here, I'm going to go in through town because um, I know there's no height restrictions at all. There's no cables, nothing like that. So there's lots of houses getting built here at the minute. On the right hand side, this is where the new bypass is going to be coming through to. Imagine that they're open in the next four or five months. So it just saves us going through that little village, yeah. That'll make that village quite quiet then, won't it? Take the majority of the traffic out of the town. Well, we've got a group, <laughs> got a group of trees coming up here now past one but that didn't look too bad. There's this lot here coming up here now. Um, some of them, it's, it's, it's one of them ones where you look at the trees and you think, how, how high are you? Um, there's nothing, no worries here. None of these are any hassle. Now we're gonna miss all them. We're gonna miss all them. Yeah, just a few twigs there. This one here, maybe a few twigs. Any clouses? Yeah, nothing. Nothing. We're all right. We're okay. Beautiful job, Mike. Beautiful. What did I get up to at Christmas time? Nothing much. Uh, really didn't do much at all, to be honest. And uh, just chilled. Chilled out and done nothing. But you know, the time just goes so quickly, doesn't it? Before you know it, here we are, we're into the uh, middle of December, January, almost already, aren't we? And uh, it just shoots by. Before you know it, the good thing is, the best part of the year is coming now, we're into, the, into January. February, January, February goes pretty quickly, doesn't it? Then the days are starting to stretch by an hour or so already. So you've gone five o'clock and it's still daylight, which is what we would like to see. So the best part, of the year now is coming ahead of us. I might go out to the Philippines this year for a week or so. Just have a look. Good afternoon to the fairies. Here's a fairy bridge. Good afternoon, fairies. Hope you're well. Hope you're carrying on the nuptials of your marriage okay and all that. And uh, everyone's happy in the fairy household. Very easy, eh? I miss the fairies on it all the time. This here is the roughest section of road on the island. Sometimes you really need a gum shield to go up and down this bit here. This bit is coming on here now. You'll see me bouncing about in the seat. I think we're right. It's these low trees here, you see. No, I think we're all right. I think we're doing all right. It might be, it looks taller than it is, maybe it's one of them things because you're looking at the focal point of the top of it which looks quite tall. If it was a square sided double decker tall liner which would take up and down here, you know, most every day of the week we go up and down here a double decker tall liner so 
this for some reason looks a little bit taller than a double decker. It probably isn't. So their 4.7 was probably right. top of this brow now we'll start seeing the Douglas in the distance so we'll go right through the heart of it uh, not through we'll go through one of the main roads into the boat um, what's well, mean then one of the main routes in just for looking at let's check us out to see Douglas there in the distance a bit hazy there today not the best of um, days to show you that You see on my cameras, I've got a couple of cameras, two or three cameras out there. Now, they're all virtually the same camera. But some of them sit in their own little casing, like a waterproof casing. And one of them sits uh, just on its own camera lens. So it's interesting to see how the different um, views you get. Same camera. Just one's in a house and one's just sat on its own, uh, with its own lens, if you know what I mean. It's naked. to the outskirts of Douglas now, the capital. So we'll go right through the middle of us. Or the main way we can get to the boat without going under the bridges down on the right hand side. So this time we'll go straight down through and follow that trade distribution truck. Down through in this one here in front. Do 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 yes we can go. We can go might get a few low trees coming down through this bit but we take double decker tall liners down through here all the time so there shouldn't be any issues now with trees uh, down through here you can see how they kind of come out into the road a bit but they won't affect this there's nothing there to worry about <laughs> nothing there as he says There's a golf course to the right hand side here. I'm not sure if any of them cameras will pick that up. There's an 18 hole golf course here over the right of this hedge here. I'm not sure we're high enough to see that. And the back camera, the way the road curves, the back camera might not pick them up. But it's very beautiful. Douglas uh, Golf Club. If you're on the island, get yourself around that for a round. It's one of our Mercedes Benz buses there. Two quid at the minute. Anyway, you like to go on the sand, there's two quid. So it's a bargain. There's a couple of low trees here. Only tiny twigs of branches. Nothing to write home about. Don't touch any of them. Be close. here on the right hand side um, quite a clump of houses I don't know six or seven hundred houses there and 
there's a few private houses here on the left hand side into like a car dealership on the right hand side just coming more into the town here now or the capital call what you like I think they like to call it a city now and again it's too small for a city to be honest so we're going to take a right here now but because I'm going to turn sharp right and with the tail swing I'm going to take up the two lanes not really holding anyone up it's just I could have just gone on my side but because I have to cut, cut back quite tight there'll be more tail swing than not if I was going left I wouldn't care but because I'm going right I'm going to cut back on myself here so just make sure no one goes up the inside of me you see only to just because to get the crazy car drivers you cut the corner here you see so I'll just don't give them the option here see I'm going to cut back here now myself so sometimes the cars are trying to go around the outside to go up to the left there so I don't give them the option because you get the odd one which is that crazy the, the, the uh, uh, shout out to Vicky there in the skip truck Get yourself over here on holiday. Have a McDonald's here on the right hand side. And if you're not into their type of stuff, you can have a Kentucky Fried Chicken now, which we have here on the right hand side. Or a Starbucks. You, know, you can eat that, if that's your type of thing. There they have it, all new here on the right hand side. We're not far away from the port now, actually, a couple of miles, a mile, a mile and a half, see? If that. We've got this new bike lane here on the left hand side, left and right hand side. And to me, they should have got rid of the one on the right hand side, put a two way cycleway on the left hand side. Yeah, I'll take a bit of the payment by doing that and give them their own set of traffic lights at the at the uh, last set of traffic lights we've just gone through and that way you're getting them all in one place on you you get them in their own little structure or roadway and cut out all the nonsense and then you can put that cycleway down to one lane then and take a bit of that payment by the way, into the heart of Douglas here. Give them their own little cycleway. And if they want to wear all black like they stupidly do, in most occasions, most of them haven't got no lights on either. They're foolish, you see. Not all of them, but there's quite a lot of them. A big 20% of them now wearing all black. And it's pitch black in the morning, and they're, wearing, they're riding along here, pitch black, not a care in the world. They're just idiots, like. That's the only way of describing them, idiots. Put a high vis on. And they say, oh, got me lights, got me light. Well, why is the light red or white? Duh. Work it out yourself. You've got this thing with vein where they're trying to think that they look slimmer in a black. Oh, shall I pay for that? Oh, do that vein where they think, oh, I look, I look thinner in all black. Well, get past that. No one really gives a shit if you look. <laughs> and nobody really cares if you look thinner or fatter because you wear black. Wear high vans, I can see that man there in the orange jumper. Stands out a mile. And when they wear all black, they're kind of sh going into the um, colour of the tarmac. They're just, they're just crazy. That's my opinion, and I'm sticking by it. Get something high vis on you. Colourful. Blues, yellows, oranges, reds, yellows. Lots of nice bright colours out there. It doesn't matter if you look shapely or not. That's male or female. I mean, put something on where you can see. It's ironic you have to go on a building site and you have to wear high vis and all that. Yet you're quite free to cycle your bike on the road wearing all black. 
no light, no nothing, just lets you wear, and it's just total nonsense. It's just total nonsense. Is he gonna let me through here? Is he gonna let me through? I think they're gonna let me through, yeah, thank you very much. I don't I think it was just that van was waiting for that bus there, but the bus let me go, and thank you to that van. Right, we're back at the port. No drama. No hassles. We're in one piece. Everyone's happy. The customer can see his product or his machinery got to the port in one piece. I'll just take that nonsense off for a minute. It still looks quite tall, doesn't it? I'm interested, I might put it next to a double decker here just to see how tall is it. You know I mean? There's a Mark Suspenser trailer there. If I can get a place next to a double decker, I will just to see how tall it is. Is that a space head now? No space head. Let these lads cross. Jesus Christ. Uh, I might put it there actually. I might put it next to that sort of double decker there. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. And then the steam packet can do what they like with it. They can see it's. An odd size. That's what we'll do there. We'll bang it in here. That's the best policy, isn't it? It's alongside a, um, a, step, uh, a double decker trailer, which should be about 4.8. Straighten yourself up, boy. Straighten yourself. Beautiful job. <laughs> Beautiful job. Go back in line with that there, and then that's be interesting. Anyway, put that. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like for me, please. Dislike if you don't like it. Uh, share it for me, please. Share it amongst your friends further afield. Have a look at the Isle of Man, see what you think, and don't forget to make a comment, let me know what you think, so then we can have a little thing. I've got some good ideas coming up very soon, maybe just juggle things about a little bit, and just add a few things, which will just, uh, you know, just change, change your things. With that, bye bye for now, keep smiling, we'll see you soon, Ooh, no worries, bye bye.